there are 4 million people in North America, and probably including yourself, that wake up every day and drive a truck for a living. 3.4 million of them are 85% are overweight. One in every seven suffers from type 2 diabetes. And as a group, truck drivers have a life expectancy 16 years less than the average population. Chicken truck and big wheels, they're humming. High rate of fuel consumption, missing mama, needing love and rolling with a whale sound. Running like a southern shaker, I don't need no 40 acres to turn this rig around. Welcome to Trucking Fitness Radio, the number one driver's health and fitness podcast in the world. And we are here to make the trucking industry a healthier place. My name is Mark Manera. I'm the founder and CEO of the Trucking Fitness Company, and I'm excited to get this podcast started. On today's show, I want to talk about a couple of things. Number one, how and why I started the Trucking Fitness Company. Two, I want to talk about the current state of driver's health. And three, the plan we have for this podcast and how actually you listening to this right now, driving down the highway can get involved and be a part of it too. Sound good? All right. So let me tell you a little bit how I got into the trucking industry. Outside of owning the trucking fitness company, I'm, I'm also a physical therapist. And that's actually how I got into the trucking industry. During the summer of 2020, I had this chance to work in a PT clinic in a small town called Bon Terre in Southern Missouri. And as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, uh, there's a lot of trucking that goes on in and around Southern Missouri. And so during my time in this PT clinic, I got to rehab a ton of drivers. And the cool part about physical therapy is that, you know, for a majority of the time, it's not like going to your family physician, you're in and out in a couple of minutes. You know, I really had the chance to get to know these drivers, hear their story, and, and just spend time with them. And, you know, as I spoke to more and more drivers, I really got to see firsthand, you know, the good and the bad of driving a truck for a living. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are listening can uh, are shaking your head right now of, yep, I know <laughs> all about those, right? And, you know, on one hand, almost every single driver I spoke to, you know, love the lifestyle of trucking. And, had pride in the fact that, you know, they were a trucker and, you know, I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way and can relate to that. And, you know, they also felt like trucking had provided them a great living for their family. And they felt like, you know, they were really helping this country. And, you know, like I said, it was the summer of 2020. It was the first half of the pandemic and, you know, you guys were heroes, right? And, you know, you still are heroes, but from a publicity standpoint, you know, you got a lot more from the public than you normally do, which, you know, might be one of the only positive things that came out of all this craziness, right? And, you know, on the other hand, though, I also heard a lot of the negatives, you know, some talked about the inconsistent home time, you know, others talked about the lack of respect from other people in the industry. But Every single truck driver I spoke to talked about the effects trucking has had on their health. And, you know, as a PT, I'm sitting over here saying, you know, for a majority of the truck drivers I rehabbed, you know, their poor health was a major underlying reason why they were really in the clinic in the first place. So fast forward a little bit and, you know, I'm working with a ton of different drivers and in general, there was really one driver in specific that I worked with that sparked the fire and really inspired me to start the trucking fitness company. You know, he had been driving over the road for 37 years, I guess now it's 38, almost 39. Um, but he was overweight, diabetic, and he had just had a total knee replacement, which was what I was rehabbing him for. And, you know, he was the nicest guy in the world and nicest person you've ever met. But he was one of those guys that was pretty quiet and, you know, a little reserved until you got to know him and then he didn't stop talking. Um, you know, and as I was rehabbing him and I started to talk, you know, started to talk to him about life on the road and, you know, what his typical day looked like. And, you know, as any PT would ask, I said, you know, how often do you exercise on there? And, you know, he looked at me like I was crazy. And, you know, he laughed a little bit and said, I'm a trucker. We don't do that. You know, and in that moment, I, I really didn't think too much of it. You know, we, he was cracking jokes back and forth and we were laughing and I, I didn't take it super seriously. So I just laughed, but 
you know, as I thought more and more about the situation and then hearing some of the other things he said about driving a truck and his health specifically, you know, I realized that that comment was maybe just a little bit more than a joke, but there was really an identity or mindset problem that he was facing. You know, he seriously didn't think it was possible to live a healthy life on the road. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys listening to this right now might have those, you know, might have very similar feelings and might think to yourself, hey, I agree with him. I don't know if it is possible. And I hope that this podcast can slowly shift your mindset and uh, help you get on you know, the brighter side of things. So, you know, back to back to the the one driver I was rehabbing, you know, I asked him and, you know, if he, you know, if you know me, um, I kind of like to just riff and throw business ideas out there uh, throughout the day. So I asked him, you know, what if there was an app on your phone uh, where you could, you know, pull it out after you get done driving for the day and it gave you a workout, you know, you could do in your truck or just outside of your truck. You think that would be cool? And he, the look on his face was like, I had just like done a magic trick in front of me. You know, he was amazed. And he said, I've never heard of anything like that. Is that possible? And so I went home that night and uh, I started building the trucking fitness company and you know, the one aspect of that story that I glossed over was that, you know, before I started building out the workout programs or, you know, anything about the business, I, I went home and read a ton of research, uh, you know, on driver's health. And I know, I know that I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm, I remember I'm a physical therapist. I come from a medical background. I, I got to look at some statistics and research. And, you know, through that, I really saw firsthand uh, for the first time um, the statistics and data on just how unhealthy truck drivers are as a whole. And that's really when I started to see the big picture of how big the problem of driver's health was. So let me paint you that picture. There are 4 million people in North America, and probably including yourself, that wake up every day and drive a truck for a living. 3.4 million of them are 85% are overweight. One in every seven suffers from type 2 diabetes. And as a group, truck drivers have a life expectancy 16 years less than the average population. Yeah, 16 years. Uh, I, I know that's hard to hear. And it shocked me the first time I heard that statistic too. But you know, before I scare you too much or, you know, have you turn this off because it just seems like, you know, too big of an uphill battle to climb over. You know, if you are in one of those categories, I, I seriously have devoted my career to help you fight back. And, you know, for us to work together to change these statistics for the whole industry. And, you know, this podcast is just one of the ways we're going to do that. And I keep saying we, because I seriously think you and the other drivers listening to this podcast uh, are a part of this community and a part of this movement. And it would not be possible if I can't help get everyone together and push this forward, um, you know, one step at a time. So, you know, before I get too deep into, you know, what the plans for the podcast are, I, I wanted to lay this out there for everyone. So, you know, sit up a little bit better, you know, sit on the edge of your seat, put, put cruise control on so you don't slam on the gas. I'm just kidding. But I, I want to be very clear with everyone. I, I am not a truck driver. I don't have my CDL. I've been in a truck. I've driven in a truck, but I have never personally driven a semi truck. And I'm a physical therapist. And, you know, I want you to hear that again, that I, I am not and have never been a truck driver. And I don't want you to think I am. Uh, I'm a physical therapist that is on a mission to make the trucking industry a healthier place. And, you know, I think there are a lot of advantages uh, to me not being a driver and coming in with a background in the medical uh, health and fitness world. But I also think there are a ton of disadvantages, you know, such as, you know, trucking is such a different lifestyle uh, than anyone else's and, and including mine. And there are a ton of unique struggles you have to go through to live a healthy life on the road. So because of those disadvantages, you know, I really want to commit uh, three things to you. So number one, uh, this was before I started the trucking fitness company. I, I you know, before I created the program, uh, the company in general, I, I sat down, I went into Facebook groups and got 
probably over a hundred drivers that I sat down and just listened to. I talked to them for some for closer to an hour, some for 15, 20 minutes, but you know, I really heard their struggles. I got suggestions from them. I listened to the stories of years and years and years of driving an 18 wheeler. And that gave me a lot of information to then say, okay, here's all these struggles. Here's all these suggestions. Let me now put on my PT brain and how can I combine them and create something super special for the industry? So I create, that was the first start and I created the baseline program, right? And the second thing I did was after creating our program, we started with a beta test of about 20 drivers and I had them follow our program. And I spent 30 minutes to an hour every single week for a month talking to every single one of the beta testers, getting feedback, getting their thoughts on, you know, how I could make the program better. And, uh, you know, there, were, there was just a ton of ideas. Um, and, you know, I think drivers in general have a ton of ideas and thoughts. They just, um, there's sometimes a disconnect between an idea and actually implementing it. And, you know, one example of it was one of our drivers in our, in our beta test didn't feel super comfortable getting outside of her truck to work out. So because of that suggestion, we developed the in the truck workouts um, and it's been a huge hit and it was a, it was a game changer and it wasn't something I was thinking about, but it was a light bulb that came on because of that suggestion. And, you know, the final thing is that I am always going to be a hundred percent open to ideas and suggestions. I think I have to, because there are a ton of drivers out there, maybe including yourself who have some great ideas and suggestions on, you know, the struggles that need to be solved. So if you have an idea, I, I'm an open book. You can send me an email or you can send us a DM on the trucking fitness company on any social media. Um, but I just wanted you to know that I, I'm not a truck driver. I'm a physical therapist. I think there are advantages to that, but I also understand there are disadvantages and uh, I'm trying to do everything I possibly can to uh, negate those disadvantages so I can help you guys as much as possible. Uh, sound fair enough, right? And so let's, let's talk about what the plans are for this podcast. And, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to give you actionable advice on how to live a healthy life on the road. I know this one's a little bit more of an introduction versus, Hey, go do this or a mindset. But my goal is that after you listen to an episode, you have a clear understanding of this is what I need to do to get five, 1%, 5%, 10% healthier and move in the right direction and push the needle forward. Secondly, we're also going to give you real life stories and struggles drivers have about their health while on the road. So what that's going to look like is one to two episodes a week. Some are going to be five to 20 minutes episodes of me just talking like this about a specific topic and giving you actionable advice on how to combat that problem on the road. And others are going to be where actually you can get involved with the show. We're going to give, uh, we're going to have truck drivers on the show and we're going to do one of two different things. So number one, we're, we're going to have an like ask anything, ask us anything type of show, you know, where you can come on, talk about your personal struggles, uh, have my one-on-one -on -one attention. And the whole point of the conversation will be that I give you actual actionable advice about your struggles and the things that you struggle with the most while on the road, trying to live a healthy life. I'll give you a personal roadmap on, you know, how you can fight back and lose weight and just live a healthier life on the road. So it's going to be a 30 minute show, whatever, however long it takes on you asking me any questions you have. And I will give you my full attention, give you exactly what you need to know to go on your way and crush it on the road and live a healthier life. The second type of show we're going to have is we want to hear stories of drivers who have had that huge weight loss journey or turn their health around on their own. You know, I can't tell you how many times I post something on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, TikTok, and uh, I get someone to say, man, I've lost a hundred pounds. I've lost 50 pounds. I did this. And now I'm, you know, 20 pounds down, I've got a hundred more to go. And I want to hear those stories. And I think that other drivers and maybe including yourself would get inspiration from those. So if you want the chance to have, you know, your personal questions answered 
and get, you know, get your about get your health back on track. Um, or you've had a huge transformation and want to share that experience with other drivers, uh, go to www.truckandfit.com slash radio. So T-R-U-C-K-I-N-F-I-T.com slash radio and fill out our podcast application. The, the link is also in the show notes below. Seriously, guys, if, you know, as this podcast grows and the show grows, it's going to be harder and harder for you to get on the show. So I want to reward you for being episode one, getting in here early, and I want to make it easy for you to get on the show. So if you apply, there's a high likelihood you're going to get on. You're going to get your answers, uh, your questions answered, or you're going to get your story out to people. And it's going to really help thousands of drivers see that it's possible. And that's our goal. So go apply truckandfit.com slash radio. The link is below. And that's all I have for the first episode. I'm excited for this. Uh, I think that there's a lot of opportunity. I'm open to suggestions on things that you want to hear, different ideas for episodes. Uh, and just thank you so much for listening. Uh, we're excited to see where the show goes. Chicken trucking, big wheels, they're humming. High rate of fuel consumption, missing mama, needing love and rolling with the weight and sound. Running like a southern shaker, I don't need no 40 acres to turn this rig around. I'm jacked up like a Chevy, but ain't heading to the levee. Lord have mercy, sir.